How's it going, everybody? It's me, Dylan, and you're watching Whiskey Wednesday. Please drink responsibly. So today, I was actually going to do a bourbon review. I have it filmed, but you know what? I'm sick and tired of drinking bourbon. I am. I need something different. So, I got me some Old St. Andrews Clubhouse Blended Scotch Whiskey. So, let's, let's get a little information on the back. Let's see what it says. Old St. Andrews Scotch Whiskey is stored and matured in oak cask, previously used for sweet wines, sherry, or port, which gives it a delicious richness and roundness. While maturing, Old St. Andrew develops a unique character, drawing its color from the cask to achieve a rich golden appearance. Old St. Andrews Clubhouse is our premium blend of carefully selected malt and grain whiskeys, especially matured to produce a taste as distinct as the bottle in which it comes. Whether sipped neat or with water, ice or mixers, Old St. Andrews Clubhouse will appeal to the sophisticated whiskey lovers everywhere. Now, first off, it comes in when the miniature box comes, or the mi when the shooter comes into a miniature box. It's pretty fancy. And then, boom! It's got, it's a golf ball. Or you can, and you know what, with Christmas right around the corner, you could probably, you know, drink a few of these and use, fill them up with something nice and use it as a nice little ornament. You know, something cool, maybe. I don't know. But who cares about that? Let's test it out. All my animals are now walking around outside, so if they come into the shot, you know why. Now, I mean, it doesn't really have a gold color to it. It's got more of a apple juice look to it myself. So I don't know, and unfortunately, this doesn't really give this doesn't give me an age statement in it, which. You know, it gives me a little bit of worry because I don't know if there's any coloring to it then. But it is blended, so I imagine some of them are kind of got some nice age to it. So I don't know. But I do love that bottle. I think that's pretty cool. It's got a very. I don't know, spicy and fruity smell to it almost, I would say. It It almost reminds me of Blue Label. Honestly, that's what it reminds me of is Blue Label. Which I love Blue Label. I wish I could buy a whole bottle of that stuff. It would be fucking amazing. Let's go for it. Hmm. Well, that's kind of unique. I mean, I don't know. There's a flavor there, but I can't really describe it. It's, it kind of smells a little bit like a white taste, but it's also a little bit on the bland side. I mean, I really am not getting much of a taste out of it. I'll be honest, guys. Huh. I don't know. It. I mean, the smell is growing on me. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I will say this, I enjoyed this way more than I enjoyed the Macallan 12, which even though for some reason the Macallan is the world's most popular single malt scotch ever, which I don't see why, that stuff tastes like just potpourri to me and it smells like shit. 
So if you're one of those Macallan lovers, I'm sorry, it's not for me. Good, you can have it all you want. You don't have to worry about me buying a bottle of it. Then again, I had that when I just turned 21. So about that, guys, my uh, battery's dead on my camera. Didn't realize it was that. But I'll be honest, I'm not too thrilled with this stuff. I mean, cool bottle. Does it have much of a flavor to it? I mean, I like the smell. I really do. It grows on me pretty hard, like I said. So, overall... It, I mean... I don't know, there's just nothing much to it, guys. It, like, there's that alcohol burn to it. There's a bit of that, uh, like, the smell gets into your mouth, too, you know, that kind of thing. But other than that, it's, it's just not a good whiskey. It really isn't. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I haven't had a good whiskey for a while. Oh well, I mean, then again, all I've been able to find have been American bourbon, rye, stuff like that. And you know, I wanted to have, like I said, I wanted to have a scotch. Because I love scotch more than bourbon, I really do. So, you know what? I'm giving three for the smell and three for the bottle and mostly because then you can use this if you get a big bottle of this stuff you could dump it out and put something you actually like in here and then, I don't know or you can use the smaller ones as ornaments other than that fuck it six out of ten like I said Love the bottle. I love the smell, but the taste, there's nothing there. There's straight up nothing there. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I'm getting sick. Maybe that's why I can't really taste anything with any of these whiskeys. Then again, whiskey tends to cure all my sicknesses, so. Oh well. If you know any whiskeys that I might like, and I'm open to try anything. I am. It could be stuff that your crazy Uncle Jeff makes. If you were to send me a bottle of it, I would drink it. Okay? So, you know... And I, and I would review it, too. I really will. If you guys can make any suggestions of a good whiskey... He, Please let me know and I will do it. I really will because I've been having bad luck with all these whiskeys I've been drinking and I'm getting really tired of it. Anyways, I am Dylan. This has been Whiskey Wednesday. Please drink responsibly.